Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at this, the Coilmaster SEB, right here on My Vaping Place. Hey everybody, I just want to say a couple of things here before we actually get into the video, okay? You as a vapor, I as a vapor, we need to do a couple of things right now. One, we need to get on to our individual representatives in Congress. We need to get on to both of our federal senators and we need to let them know, <coughs> excuse me, that we as vapors want them to support H.R. 2058 and the Cole Bishop Amendment to the Agricultural Appropriations Bill. If we don't get those two pieces of legislation passed, we're going to be up the creek without a paddle. Seriously. August 8th, the day that those deeming regulations go into full effect, are very close by. Call your senator excuse me, call your senators, both of them. Call your representative for your congressional district. Let them know. Bring them coffee. Bring them a bagel. Don't forget the schmear. Bring them a roll. Get to talk to them. Get them to know you by sight. Get them to know who you are and what vaping is to you. If each and every one of us does this, they're going to have so many faces that they're going to know by sight that they're not, they will know that vaping is important and it is the most important thing that they need to do now because if they don't support us, we're not going to support them. And believe me, it, when they get down there to take a look at that unemployment line, they're not going to like it very much. Enough said. Peace out. Hey everybody, Joe here. Nice of you to join me today. Thanks for coming. Okay, what we're going to take a look at today is this. The Coilmaster SEB stands for Stainless Steel E-Liquid Bottle. Okay? This is a new product that's come out from Coilmaster. Uh, some people say that is a a clone of the flavorist. Um, I don't think so. I really don't. This device is really an interesting piece of equipment. It's an accessory, but it's something that I find very important in my ordinary everyday life especially when I'm going to work we'll get to know it a little bit more down up close and personal when we get down to the build deck so meet you down below okay here we are down on the build deck um, I'm gonna be taking a look at this today the coil master SEB um, standard procedure here let's do the unboxing this is how you're gonna it's gonna come to you uh, in a nice little solid cardboard tube. Uh, nothing here on the top. Coil master on the front. Nothing on the back. On the bottom here, you're going to have your scratch and check with the coilmaster.net, um, <clears throat> excuse me, coilmaster.net um, website on there and the serial number. Okay? They have all the information there on the site to should tell you how you go about uh, checking to make sure that you have a real, genuine Coilmaster device. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Take the top out, and the first thing that we get is this. Let's put that to one side. Nice little uh, velveteen bag. Stay over there. Um, open this up and let's pull it out and there's your coil master 
and you have your instruction brought uh, instructions tells you about it uh, shows you how to open it up how to um, use it the scale uh, adjustment ring uh, inner cap needle cap top cap okay so let's take a look and see what we got here now as you can see here it comes with the coil master name and great laser eshed on to the side of the stainless steel um, I don't know if you can see it too well here uh, you'll have to excuse my lighting I'm still working on the lighting here this is a work in progress so on here you have 20 15 10 5 and 2 milliliters now to fill this you grab your knurling here at the top and you unscrew like so and as you can see you have a solid purchase o-ring on here which comes in contact with the inner surface to make sure that your juice does not get um, all throughout in your pants pocket your purse pocket or whatever you have your little hole here in the center where the juice squirts through and out into the needle this is the top cap that seal it keeps the needle nice and clean and as you can see the only thing that moves here is this part here this is the only part and it's got a nice flow nice even spring tension and this pushes back into place so it's out of the way and this will fit into just about any hole that you can even think of for filling your juice so you don't even really have to worry about it if it if it's too small for um, the standard 30 milliliter bottle well it's not going to be too small for this okay so the the threads on here seem to be a little bit grabby but they're they're relatively smooth um, I don't know once you get a little bit of e-liquid on here it should turn around and should work rather nicely uh, as you can see in the bottom there you have the piston which you push up and that allows you to put pressure on the e-juice inside so it can squirt out through the needle you also have an adjustment ring here which as you bring this further out this way limits the amount of juice that you use so if you only want to drip a little bit you can bring this all the way out and just go blip 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 a couple of little drops or if you're like me and you have a relatively large capacity tank you can have this screwed all the way in and when you press that in you're going to turn around you're going to get approximately two milliliters of juice coming out per squish okay um, that's it that is it in a nutshell oh yeah you have the glass insert in here which allows you to see exactly how much juice you have left in here um, it is a full glass from inside the ring top ring here where there's an, uh, an o-ring in there to make sure that it doesn't come out all the way down to the bottom I don't know how you would unscrew this thing any further if you had to replace the glass I think if this thing falls down and the glass gets broken well you're just gonna have to buy yourself another one because um, there's no way that I can see to actually replace that so well you know it is what it is and it that is the coil master SEB the stainless steel e-liquid bottle all right let's head back up topside and we'll get a little more discussion on this okay here we are topside um, this device this accessory is a wonderful little piece of equipment I've had this thing now for about five days and I'll tell you this is probably one of the single nicest little piece of accessories that I have in my my repertoire if you'll see I have been using the Inakin you can for almost a year now um, this thing is supposed to hold 10 milliliters of juice not really the best I've ever been able to get this thing to hold is seven mils okay um, 
But the way my K fun has been chewing through juice lately since I put the uh, the sub ohm pipe in there, which really works nice. And this thing has been just like inhaling the juice. Okay, it, the cloud production has gone through the roof. The 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 breathing is just there. And it uh, well, this is not about this. This is about the the Seb. But it is in a way also about this. The more juice that this uses, the more juice you need to carry. Now, I put in that sub ohm kit in there about two weeks ago. And there was a day when I ran out of juice in there and I had this with me and this was almost dead almost no juice in there at all. I filled up what was left. Luckily, it was only about an hour and a half to two hours before quitting time. By the time I rolled into the house, my tank was just about dry. Luckily, I was using a stainless steel coil in there and I had it on temperature control so I didn't have to worry about getting a dry hit. But I don't like the idea of vaping my tank down to the point where there's no juice in there and even when I tip this thing over like this there ain't nothing showing up down here at all mm, no I was looking around I heard through some sources that Coilmaster was coming out with this so I looked took a look around and I found um, let me see. I gotta look at. Excuse me. I gotta take a look at this. VaporDNA.com. Okay. Sorry about that. VaporDNA.com had this on sale for nineteen ninety nine. Now, normally this is going to be going for about thirty five, forty dollars. Okay. Um, as I said in the on the bill cam, this holds twenty milliliters. Of juice okay more than enough to get you through a day or two seriously um, I like the fact that I can actually just hold it up to the light and see well take a look maybe I don't know if you can see it or not but yeah there you go there you go see the level of the juice in there you know exactly how much juice you've got left you know exactly where you're standing okay this thing is made from stainless steel. I wouldn't go trying to roll a truck over it, not unlike unlike the uh, the UCAN, which is solid stainless steel. Um, but it'll be able to withstand the dinks, stings, bangs. Well, short of like pff, dropping it off of a twenty-story building, that is. And the nice part is, is that you can adjust how much juice with each flow by simply turning this ring down here and it automatically dispenses the amount that you want. So you can set this here to give you one squish on this to fill up your tank. Or, like with my K fun, fully wide open, this thing two squishes and the tank is pretty much full. Okay? 1995, excuse me, 1999. It's a good buy. You don't have to worry about having too little juice with you and you don't need to worry about whether or not your juice can is dry. Personally, I give it a thumbs up. It's built. It'll take a It'll take punishment, has plenty of capacity. I can see what I'm looking at in there. I can see how much it is. The price is right. If you need to turn around, you need to carry juice with you, and you're in an environment where, well, plastic bottles might get squished in your pocket. You're in a rough environment that you work in. You know, you might not need this in an office situation, but it doesn't hurt. 
Yeah, it's a little bit heavy. It's stainless steel. What do you want? But at least you don't have to worry about running out of juice 20 minutes before you get into the car and before you hit that traffic jam on the way home. Think about it. Enough said. Thank you very much for joining me. Please, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button down there. If you like this video, hit the like video. That's over that away. Um, thank you very much for coming. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. Until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. Take care.